Hey guys, so I'm here back with another tutorial and this is a zombie tutorial just in time for Halloween. So if you want to know how to get it, stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with Maron's Modeling Putty Wax and a spatula. I'm going to dig it all out and I'm going to take um, some putty in the size of a nickel and I'm just going to roll it up until I get the shape that I desire. Once I have this shape, I'm going to put it on as my forehead. Now, this is going to be a wound, and I'll show you another way you can do that as well. Um, and I'm going to take a spatula. I'm just going to blend it onto the skin so it all blends in and looks as natural as a cut can actually look. I'm going to make sure everything is blended out. And I'm going to take that spatula and this is where I'm going to make my wound. I'm just going to cut right into it. And then I'm going to separate the edges to make it look as realistic as possible. It should look something like that. Next I'm going to take some latex and a plastic bowl. And I'm going to take a cosmetic wedge. And this is another way that you can do a wound as well. So I'm going to pat that all on there. Now, if you're using it for the first time, it is going to stink and irritate. And I'm going to take some toilet paper. And this is a double ply. I'm just going to separate those pieces and let about five minutes um, in between to let that dry. And I'm going to repeat the process about four more times. I'm just going to let that dry a bit with a blow dryer just to make the process a little bit faster. And here I am doing another wound. You could just repeat that process and whatever wound, wherever you want to put them, um, it'll be very, very simple. So you can go ahead and repeat that. And I did repeat all of my wounds with um, four layers of the toilet paper and the latex just to get a good um, consistency as, as far as thickness. Now I would say that this part is probably the part that does take the longest only because of the drying time with the latex and the paper. Um, but you can also speed that up using a blow dryer, but that is the only part that kind of kills um, is just having to wait for the latex to dry. Other than that, this should be pretty simple and pretty quick. And I'm just going to add some latex over the uh, modeling putty. Um, if you're going to be wearing this for a while and your forehead tends to move a lot, it could separate that mod uh, modeling um, putty. So I'm just going to secure it with some latex. Next here, I'm going to make the wounds. Now this part, you definitely want to be extra careful um, to not pinch yourself, to not cut yourself. Um, I suggest if you are under the age of 14 to have a parent possibly do it or an adult. Um, this part can be very dangerous. Um, I've been doing this for quite a while now, so I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, this part, you're just going to be separating, um, the latex and the paper to make the wound and you can make them as deep, as wide as you like it.
Next, I'm going to take a very light foundation. Um, I would rather use a light foundation rather than using a white paint or a gray paint because I definitely wanted to make this zombie look as realistic as a zombie could possibly look. And if you've ever seen a dead person on TV or at a funeral or, you know, they're very, very pale, um, it, but still with that skin human skin instead of making it look as fake as possible with you know a white paint but to each its own you can use whatever you want I just wanted mine to look a little bit more realistic so I just used a foundation that was about four shades lighter than my actual skin and here I'm going to take NYX jumbo pen pencil in a black bean I believe and this is just going to be kind of a base where I would put my colors um, after this and I'm just putting it all around my eye and then I'm going to blend it out. And this would just be a guide for me to know where I would put the other colors later on. And I'm going to put foundation over that. And don't worry about it, um, you know, thinking that it's going to cover it up. It won't. The black will definitely seep through the foundation to really give it that dead um, kind of look and I'm just going to bring down that foundation all the way down in any parts if you're doing this for a costume um, any parts of your skin that's going to be exposed I would um, refer you to cover your whole body Next, I'm going to take my airspun powder, and I'm just going to set everything in place. And I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette, and I'm going to be taking a 217 brush, and I'm going to take that purplish, brownish undertone shadow and put it all under my eyes to give it that um, sunken in type of look um, try not to go super super overboard um, make it look as natural as possible and I'm going to take that same color around the wounds to make them look irritated and and more realistic I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm going to take the red color and I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush to kind of just pat that all on there. And it's basically repeating the same process with that shadow. And you're going to go ahead and do that on all of the wounds. So it looks something like that. And I'm going to take some black. I'm going to put that in the corners that I'm using a 224 brush by MAC. And just to make it look a little bit more synced in. And I'm going to take that all the way down to my nose. And now I don't know why this part didn't record. Um, but I just filled in the wounds with some black shadow and I'm using the fresh scab by Ben Nye and I'm just filling that all in to make it look really, really gross. And then I'm going to take this sponge that I got at Michael's and I'm going to use um, some blood that I got at Spirit and just put blood everywhere. Now it does look like I'm putting it over the parts that I did the shadowing and it doesn't really look like it on camera, but not on camera. You can still see that shadowing. So if you're going to a party, you wouldn't have a problem with that at all. And next I'm going to take that black shadow and put it on my lips to make them look super, super chapped. And 
and I'm going to take this paintbrush and some blood and I'm just going to put it all over my face. I'm going to splat it all over. Now, if you're a guy, you can skip this, but if you're a girl, you want to mess all that hair up. And don't forget the contacts to make it look super, super scary. So this has been my tutorial for a super scary bloody zombie. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you. Bye-bye.